Hello there, this is Chuck. Welcome to Chuck's Diecast and Model Reviews. Today we're going to be taking a look at this car. This is a Lotus 97T. Uh, 97 standing for the year that the car was raced and T standing for turbo. Uh, as you can see here, um, this one was raced by Ayrton Senna. And actually, this is the first year that Senna drove for Lotus. Uh, this particular model is by Mini Champs and it is in 112 scale. And you can tell it's 112 because it's a big sucker. Okay, I love these uh, 112 scale cars because, of course, the detail on them is great, and uh, well, they're about as close as you'll get to actually, I suppose, uh, seeing the real thing. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this guy here. Okay, now um, as you notice, it does not have the uh, iconic John Player special. Um, de um, you know, stickers on there or, or paint job on there because uh, you can't put cigarette ads on cars and even model cars nowadays uh, but there are uh, stickers available or decals available on eBay and I'll probably be ordering those here sometime soon to make this look rather more like the real thing um, but if you take a look at this model, speaking of the real thing, yeah, it is really nicely detailed, other than the uh, missing decals, of course. I mean, detail on the wheels are excellent. Um, it has rain tires on it, presumably, because uh, this was probably a tribute to Senna's first win. Uh, his first win was in this car, and it was at... Um, Portugal, I believe, and uh, he won it in the rain, and in fact, I believe he even lapped the rest of the field in this car. That's how good he was at uh, driving in the rain, and uh, that's why he's considered one of the greats. I'm no fan of his. I always thought he was kind of a jerk, but um, I do appreciate his driving skill, and of course, I do appreciate this car, too. So... Let's go ahead and take a look a little bit further at this car. Um, looking at the front here, you can see uh, detail on the uh, front end is very nice. The uh, suspension wishbones look good. Um, you can see the rather simple brake ducts there on the inside of the wheels as opposed to the ridiculously complex ones that they have on the cars now that are all part of the aerodynamic downforce package and all that sort of stuff in modern cars um, and uh, I think the smoke glass there for the uh, windscreen is kind of cool and of course the detail on Ayrton's uh, helmet is uh, very nicely done too you can even see uh, the seat belts there are uh, fabric and have decals on them and photo etched up buckles all that sort of stuff so very nicely done. Okay, um, you can also see that there's sort of a, I guess, an early form of uh, barge board here on the front of the car as well. Uh, the uh, cooling of the car is rather different now than they had back then too. You can see the uh, intake for the radiator here, and then the radiator is exposed, and it just kind of washes everything out to the side there. It's uh, I'm sure very aerodynamically inefficient compared to nowadays, but still uh, kind of cool. Uh, looking at the back here, you can see, uh, again, a nice detail on the rear. You can see the uh, diffuser on the back here. Uh, you can see the rain light. Of course, the uh, transmission, and it looks like that's the uh, shift linkage there. And then uh, the uh, uh, coolant, or the radiator there for the uh, oil cooler. Um, there's also, of course, the uh, um, CV joints and rear axles there too. So again, uh, good job with Mini Champs on this one. Um, and the other nice thing about having a model in this scale is, of course, like I said, the increased amount of detail. And 
one of these uh, increased details is this. Um, take a look at this. Boom! The top comes off. Uh, this is actually probably the way the car was anyway. Um, the uh, or at least the top of the car was. Um, it came off of one piece and it was just there for aerodynamics and not an actual structural part of the car like they are nowadays uh, for for the most part. I think with uh, modern cars the only part of the car that's you know just for the aerodynamics and is not structural is the engine cover um, and not the front like this here. Uh, but yeah, look at this. It's again nice detail. You can see here that uh, this is where the fuel tank would be located. There's the filler there. Uh, and uh, there was no need to have a side filler like uh, you know cars that had uh, refueling did. So it's all one central location. Uh, you can see here the uh, lines for the radiator there. And of course this lovely one and a half liter Renault V6 engine with twin turbochargers. I believe these engines put out about 800 horsepower uh, with that one and a half liter, so it's pretty impressive, even by modern standards, of course. Uh, you can see there, uh, looks like the uh, uh, the intakes there for the air for the turbos I guess that would be it there turbos are down here and you can see the pop-off valves for the turbos a nice uh, detailing there on the spark plug wires and of course the fuel lines and fuel injectors are right there so yeah I'm very very nice I'm uh, very impressed with that uh, so I'm uh, definitely happy with this. I was never thinking I would get this model uh, just because uh, you know these uh, models are pretty darn pricey and but I got a good deal on it here and just couldn't turn it down uh, so uh, I'm definitely very happy with it. By the way you can see here that uh, in here is where Ayrton Senna's feet would be and it's a kind of a head of the front axle there, which is, of course, a big no-no nowadays because of safety reasons. And he also rides a lot higher in the cockpit than uh, modern cars do as well. Again, for safety reasons, the driver's head and helmet are all surrounded by foam, and hardly head of, his head is hardly exposed. And frankly, I don't even see how they can even see out of modern Formula One cars uh, for uh, nowadays, um, especially compared to back in uh, days past. But uh, that is it for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review. And uh, if you did, uh, please like it and sign up for my channel. Have a great day.